welcome to my channel this is hot mess and hot glue let's have some fun all right guys um today's really exciting because i get to work with this brand hippo and they have this amazing product where you're basically going to get a cricut like result without needing a cutting machine all you need is this laser jet printer okay i cannot be more excited about this so first you want to figure out how and where your paper is going to print because you want to print on the shiny side once it's printed and dried you want to spray it now you want to use that matte finish do not use spray mod podge i figured this out the hard way um mod podge is really just glue and for some reason when i originally sprayed it that did not click so what you want to do is once it's completely dry you want to spray it wait 10 minutes, spray it again, wait 10 minutes, spray it again, and you want to do this so that you've sprayed it a total of three times. I again did not do this right the first time, and I will show you here in a bit what happens when you don't follow directions. So on this first one, we've got basic butch with a U because my husband is all about his pumpkin spice latte. So I thought this cup would be really fun. I got the cup itself at Dollar Tree and when I cut this out, had I had left just a little bit more of that white surrounding portion on, I'd have been in much better shape. But I thought I was being really clever by going in and detailing out those little parts. Now, here's the cool part. Once that paper has sat in the water for about 10 to 20 seconds, it completely separates from the back of that white portion of the paper and you have your decal. Now, you do wanna make sure that your surface that you're applying this to is quite wet because you want to be able to move the material around, make sure you get all the lumps and bumps out of it, or like in my case, because you thought you were being super clever and figured out a hack or something, not really sure what I was thinking, but, um, Again, you can see the struggle here because I removed just a little too much of the white background. It's just a little bit more difficult to work with. Now, I get it to work and it was just fine, but I will say that this product, the way that it held up for all the moving that I did and all the pushing and pulling and I was amazed that this did not just completely disintegrate or just completely become unusable. I mean, I had to keep this clip because I wanted to show you just how durable this little decal was. I mean, I put it through the ringer. I mean, you can see here, I am push and pull and push and pull and I am trying to get the second B to look like a B and not quite sure what it looks like now but once I finally get it to an acceptable appropriate letter that's actually resemblant of what it's supposed to be it does take a little while but again this is on me not on the product if anything this is a lot for the product because again I really did a lot to this guy the entire time that I'm working with it, I'm making sure that the surface is wet. And so sometimes I'll just kind of periodically go in with a lightly dampened paper towel or sponge and just kind of keep that surface nice and wet so that I can continue to move it around. Knowing how much trouble I had with this, I was really just not looking forward to doing this next portion. However, being that it was a little bit smaller, I had a lot better luck with it and I was able to gain control of the letters a lot more quickly. So in hindsight, do not get too clever and remove too much of the white backing. It in the instructions, it does say just to remove some excess, but it doesn't say to go crazy like I did. I just went ahead and did it. However, once I got all the lettering the way I wanted it to be, I was satisfied there were no lumps, no bumps, no bubbles. You then take a dry small piece of paper towel or a sponge and just kind of wipe it over your surface to get it nice and dry. And you want to be gentle with this. If you're too rough, then you will peel and you will break your decal at this point. So once it's dry, you need to be a little bit more careful. Now I'm just dabbing everything all the way over because I am 
finally happy with how it looks. I'm finally pleased. And we are officially done with our first water slide decal. And I'm just shocked that this did not take anything more than a printer. Look how cute this is. I just think it's absolutely adorable. Now, because it's a cup, I am going to need to wash it. However, I'm not going to put it in the dishwasher, but I did put two layers of dishwasher safe Mod Podge on top of it, just to be sure and just to make sure that I got a really nice seal on it. Because like I said, my husband is definitely a pumpkin spice guy and now that it's officially PSL season, it's gonna get some use. So this is the part that I wanted to show you on what happens if you do not use the proper sealer. So you want to use a clear sealer. Now I chose to do the matte sealer. I don't know if they have a gloss. I always just go for the matte. And on this one, I used Mod Podge thinking, I'm not really sure what I was thinking. I had both of them. I just saw the Mod Podge and was like, oh, I can use that also. No, no, you cannot. At this point, when I'm trying to separate the decal, I thought, oh, it's not, hasn't been submerged enough. So I put it back in the water. I try to remove it. And this is what happens. You can kind of see it's just, look at it. It's so, it's actually really gross looking. It's, just, it's almost like sunburned, peeled skin. It's so gross. <laughs> anyway, so I trash that one and I decide to move forward. Now I found these amazing prints and the prints themselves were going to be very pretty with this really mauve kind of light purple uh, paint background. I've used this paint one time before and absolutely love the color. So using these cute little hexagon shapes, I just flipped them over, painted the back half of them. And once the paint was dry, it was time to give a better chance at this water decal. Now you will see how much easier it is when you do not over trim. Uh, again, it needs to sit in the water for 10 to 20 seconds. You want to make sure that the surface that you're working on is quite wet so that it will not just stick automatically. You want to give yourself some work time so that you can manipulate the paper and put it exactly where you want it. Now look here, watch this guys. It is beautiful. Look, it slides right off. That's where the whole water slide name comes from, you guys. This is beautiful. I can't say it enough. This is so amazing. This worked so well. So, so well. And it was so easy. I mean, it's amazing what, you know, following directions will do. But I'm literally shocked. Um, even with a Cricut, getting this colorful, this dimension... Getting this result would be extremely difficult. You'd have to be more of an advanced user. This is not a result that you would get unless you were an advanced user. A beginner Cricut user could not get this result. A beginner everyday crafter absolutely can use the water slide paper and get these results. I am just absolutely floored. I think this is going to completely take everyday crafting just it levels it up tremendously. And what's amazing about this is for one, it's extremely affordable. You get, I want to say you get 20 sheets and I think it's 13 bucks, but the best part about this paper for one is they're actually going to be giving you a discount of 50% off. So in my description box, I do have a link so that you can get that discount. You guys do not sleep on this. Get in this because the ideas, the possibilities. I am going to be using this so much. I'm going to have some free printables available for you guys to use also. So I say get in there, get your paper, and let's get crafting because this stuff is ridiculously fun. Look at these. So simple. Now, not only do they have really cool decal paper, but they also sent me some uh, heat transfer paper. I was floored. So we're just going to do kind of a straightforward project again. I want this to be kind of a beginner friendly. So I just grabbed a scrap piece of um, cloth that I had and I found these really cute gnomes online, printed them out. Now 
it's kind of the same printing process. You want to make sure that you print on the proper side of the paper, and that is on the glossy side, not on the grid side. Once it's dried, you do not need to put a protective coat on it. You can just peel your paper back. You can place it on the material on which you want to use. Now, you might be thinking, well, I don't have a Cricut, so I don't have an easy press. Not a problem. I went to Walmart and I found the most adorable little iron that I've ever seen. It was $12.99. It's specifically made for crafting. And so it's very compact. It's extremely easy to use. And all you have to do is heat it up first. I mean, you definitely want to make sure it's on. And you just set your heat between 330 and 340 degrees. You press it completely all over all surfaces and edges of your photo and your image and then peel your paper back and you are done. Now, when I create a pillow and I use hot glue, I just wanted to show close up. I do not go very close to the seam. I do want to keep that hot glue a little bit farther in so that when I press it down to connect the two sides of the fabric that the hot glue doesn't then just squeeze out the outside because then you're going to see the hot glue and it kind of takes away from some of the aesthetic. Now, we're going to hot glue two of the three sides because one of the third side is a seam. Once we get that stuffed, all we have to do then, you guys, is seal it up. Just seal it up. It's that easy. We got this cute, adorable little pillow. Now, I don't want it on the couch. I made it small specifically so I could use it as decor. Thank you so much to Hippo for reaching out to me and offering me this amazing product to use and to share with you guys. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to use more of it. I definitely highly recommend it. Also, don't forget, in order to get your discount, go down to my description box and you will see that there. I also did Halloween stuff, so come back tomorrow because I will post the Halloween decor. I love me some Beetlejuice, so there's a little bit of a hint. Bye, guys.